and welcome to our learning to cook pizza journey and today I'm cooking in the Unicoda making a chicken barbecue pizza let's go make it This dough is, um, I think it's like, it's about 60% hydration. It's a 210 gram dough ball, and that's a 12 inch wooden peel. Right, you just put a bit more semolina down there onto the back of a peel it was sticking just there I haven't checked the temperature of the stone actually it's just, it's just not been on full and I've just left it on full for a while because I've, I've not been monitoring the heat in here if I got my peel yep and uh Wind is picking up a bit today, but should be all right. Just, uh... I'm using the Uni long handled peel in the Coda 16. Only thought I use it as a change, there's no There's no reason why I've swapped. I just love my other one as well, but I just thought I'd use this one for a change. This oven keeps you warm when you're outside cooking, which is nice. All of the ovens do actually. That's what's great about outside like cooking in the autumn and winter. It warms you up. Just a little bit more. Done. There's no cheese on this one. I think it's the first pizza in a really long time. I'm trying to think when I made a cheeseless pizza. It's been a very long time. But not everyone likes cheese, so I've made one that I'm quite happy not to have cheese on my barbecue chicken pizza. It's fully loaded anyway, so let's give this a try. I like it without the cheese. A lot going on there. Mushrooms are delicious. I just love mushrooms. 
And these are really nice, tasty ones, like I can taste the mushroom in them. I must say, I mean, I'm testing the Coda 16 with all these different dough temperatures and I'm testing the heat on full and it's, I haven't burnt one yet. I never say never, because it just happens without you like realizing it. It'll just boom, one minute it's got a nice crust like that and then within seconds it's gone, especially with wood. I remember I did a, an IPA dough and I did it on full and it cooked in 85 seconds. And this is only 60% hydration dough. It's a 24 hour room proof and a, a 15 hour fridge proof. But I thought, that the faster cook would give it less of a crusty crunch. I really don't know how I create a crunchy crust sometimes and then other times I don't. Because everything's the same, my dough, the hydration, the heat on the flame. How is it that sometimes you just get a crunchy crust? done a good base cook it was on full I just left it on full the nice thing about the Coda 16 is just is that the stone is so big if you've got it too hot on one side you can just move it over to the cooler side trying to do is not get the measle type leoparding but get the bigger bubbles. I've been wondering what I'm doing to get those bigger bubbles and I definitely think it's a warmer dough. Very nice. Take care everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye. And don't forget to check out our website, gottoeatpizza.com. Link is below.